What's going on plugins? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about BYU basketball in the NCAA. Before we get into this video, make sure you drop a like. And if you're new here, sub to the channel and become a part of the family. Now let's get into the video. Going into the season, Kevin Young added a few international players to his roster, and two of those players have a lot of hype around him, which are five-star prospect and projected lottery pick Yegor and Mihalo, who was the last player added to the BYU roster. Rumors have been floating around that Yegor and Mihalo could be ineligible by the NCAA. A week ago, an article was released by the Salt Lake Tribune explaining that two players could be ineligible this season because there's questions about their amateur status. Yegor and Mihalo both play professional basketball and sign contracts. The NCAA allows athletes to sign with professional teams as long as their compensation does not exceed beyond actual and necessary expenses for the participation. Athletes have an NIL making millions of dollars. You would think international players would have any problems getting eligible by the NCAA. International players seem to always have this problem, so this is not a shocker to most college basketball fans. The NCAA should definitely tweak the rules a little so it's not a hassle for international players to play college basketball. Y'all feel what I'm saying, plugins? But anyways, the NCAA are investigating Yeager and Mihala regarding their amateur status, but some good news and bad news recently came out. Kevin Young said this in an interview. Yegor is good to go, Mihalo is working with compliance and is kind of in their hands, so it's good news that Yegor is cleared by the NCAA and he'll be able to play in BYU season opener. He's going to be BYU's most impactful player, the coaches have been raving about how good he is and the fans got to see him during the scrimmage, he showed flashes that he's going to be a superstar. If Yeager wasn't cleared and had to miss a few games, this would have really hurt their season, but thankfully that didn't happen. Now Mihalo's situation seems like it's going to be a problem, his situation seems more complex and it could take some time before he's cleared. Kevin Young said this i don't know what the sticking points are there are a lot of rules that are changing every day in that space so i'm leaving it to the people who know what they're doing so kevin young is basically hoping for the best at this point byu fans better hope this doesn't turn into a zavonimir situation zavonimir was an international player that coach cal got to play for kentucky last season but the ncaa didn't clear him right away which resulted in him missing a few games that season that situation was a nightmare for kentucky and the reason he wasn't cleared was because it was an issue with a test score for an exam he had to take before he was enrolled in kentucky so mihalo getting cleared to play could get dragged out the NCAA probably has to reach out to the team he played professional basketball for and that could take a while right now we don't know all the details of what the NCAA is looking for but my assumption is they probably want to see what his contract was that he had overseas and if his contract violates NCAA rules so Mihalo getting cleared for the season opener is slim but it's not impossible his teammate Yeager was cleared and BYU is doing everything they need to do to get him cleared Mihalo could make a big impact for this team. He can be a stretch five type of player who can knock down threes and get points in the paint. And he's a player who can be a rim protector and bring toughness to this team. So this Mihalo situation is something to keep an eye on. Maybe some good news will come out soon. If any news comes out, I'll drop another video to update y'all. BYU fans, how y'all feeling about this? Do you think Mihalo will get clear before the season starts? Drop y'all opinions in the comments. Drop a like on the video and sub to the channel. Smash that like button if you want more BYU videos. I got more college videos on the way i appreciate y'all and i'll see you in the next video till next time